is going on everybody hope you guys are having a fantastic day appreciate you tuning in if you like this video hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it if you guys are new and you want more legos and or if you want more live stream star wars minecraft fortnite um go to subscribe and join the Guagua nation what we have here for you today is Lego Star Wars set 75387. It is called uh, Boarding the Tantum Ford. And I typically don't buy these kind of Lego sets, but the elegant beauty that is hidden within this set is the 25 year anniversary of Phantom Menace. And apparently Lego Star Wars is the Clone Trooper 5s. We will get more to him later. First things first, we're going to go into the build. Um, not much to it. I'll show you guys the minor play feature that it has. I'll show you a little bit more of the details that they have with all the Lego studs showing and all the cool little details that they add into the set and how the build was. And then after that, I will go into the minifigures into detail. So first, what we got here, we're going to start on the right side of the build here. We have some sticker pieces over here. Um, it's going to be underneath the ventilation system right over here. We have one, two, three, and four. Um, we're going to have a hallway right over here um, just for the rebels, so you know. Um, there's going to be some studs showing all along the floor, which is not what we'd like to see here. It doesn't look smooth, and I honestly, as I was building this set, I didn't think that that was going to be the final build um i don't know personally i think they could have done a better job smoothing out the floorboard but it's still a wonderful set they're going to add the nice detailing of the curling um lego pieces right over here and here um which gives it the nice effect of the hallway for tanson four um they're going to have the nice little tiny studs here and you would think that adding each and every single one of these to the um to the wall would be tedious but it was actually kind of fun and satisfying putting that onto the piece. So look forward to that part of the build if you uh, end up picking up this set. So here's a little closer look at the floorboard here. So, um, you know, we have all these studs showing yada yada. So we're actually going to have uh, two um, mechanical pieces here that they have this little, these little levers on the side that you're going to be able to flick. And you can actually keep the uh, minifigures onto this and by pressing the mechanism it has them topple over or fall over whatever kind of effects you want to have for your play feature moving alongside towards the end it's going to be the same kind of thing over here with the tiny little stud pieces you're going to have the studs showing here on the floor as well you're going to have the nice wall here where darth vader breaches in <laughs> Of course, after the stormtroopers break the door and kill all of the rebels, um, you're gonna have this door, and this is actually going to be the only play feature here. Now, if we go over here to the side of the build, there's gonna be this little mechanism right over here that if you push it down, it actually breaches the door open, and it's gonna have the um, fiery effect of the door blasting open. It is a very nice detail to add to this set. I love it. This is probably my favorite part of the actual set besides the minifigures. Here is a closer look at the door showing it open once you release the mechanism piece. Very very cool. Nice detailing. Here's a look from behind the scenes of what it looks like. It's just a simple mechanism sliding the door open and close. So now what we have here, we're going to have your basic five minifigures that are included in this set. You are going to get not one, but two Rebel Soldiers, along with Captain Antilles, part of the Rebel Alliance. And you're also going to get two Stormtroopers, and you're going to get the classic Darth Vader. Starting with the nice looking Darth Vader, you're going to get the nice face printing here showing the decay of his face. You're going to get that extra piece on the bottom underneath the cape that is to give the detail to show the bottom part of the mask. You're gonna get your nice chest printing here along with your nice leg printing here to add the detail of his suit. You are also going to get arm printings on each side. And you're also going to get a back printing to add more detail, which is very nice. The cape itself is the nice flimsy cape that is made out of fabric instead of the 
very stiff plastic that Lego used to use for capes. I'm sure we're all very glad that they were able to get rid of that and add these fabrics. Next up, you have your basic stormtroopers here. You have the classic helmet. You have the nice chest printing here on both of the stormtroopers. And on both of the stormtroopers, they're going to be identical and have the nice leg printing. Along with the printing on the back of the helmet and the back of the chest plate. Very nice. The one thing that I do not like about these, and uh, let me know down in the comments how you feel about these. I will kind of curious in how everyone feels but you can't really you can't turn the helmets it's not that big of a deal but on the stormtroopers they're pretty much locked into place so once you put them on you can only take it off and there's only one way of keeping it on not that big but something to point out now for the last of the normal minifigures that they have in this set you're going to get two rebel soldiers you're also going to get the captain Antilles, as i had explained earlier for these, you're not going to get any printing on the legs, a little bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. And you're also going to get chest printing on each and every one of the Rebel Soldiers, including Captain Antilles over here, along with his badge that he has on his chest. And you're also going to get some detailing on the back chest plates for each of the Rebel Soldiers. The one thing I do not like about these is that it is very easy to lose the helmets on these minifigures because they don't really snap in they just kind of they just it, it feels like they just sit on top of the head and are very loose so other than that you know you got your basic rebel troopers now as for the last minifigure that is included in this set you got the special edition fives clone trooper i believe this is the first time that we're seeing him in a lego set correct me if i'm wrong i love the detailing on this yes it's not a custom lego that you would normally buy on various third-party websites for lego giving us this minifigure i think they did a fantastic job on this you get the very very nice detailed printing along here on the actual mask you get the antenna you get very nice chest printing detail here to give off that heavy armor that he has here and you're also going to get this this is what we talked about earlier the flimsy piece to give off the effect of the shoulder pads once again not the end of the world but it is something to point out that it's a little stiff not only that but they could have made it a piece um so very nice detailing here on the chest nice belt buckle here with his holster and you're also going to get the very nice detailing here on the leg prints very nice very beautiful there is another look of him from the front very nice now without the helmet on, you have the nice little goatee that you have here from the show. And you're also going to get the uh, number 5 here on the side of his head, the tattoo that he has in the show as well. And on the back, you're just going to get your basic back printing here behind this big clunky piece. That'll be the end of the video. Um, so the build was great overall. Um, it was very fun building. There wasn't really anything tedious about it to me at least. Um, the play feature is really nice. Uh, I believe that's the best part about the actual set itself. The best part about the set is obviously the uh, Clone Trooper 5s that you get. That would be the main reason why I bought it. So as I said overall, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. Um, <laughs> It is a fantastic set, very nice sticker pieces, not too much uh, to use there. The door is not a sticker, the door is actually a printed piece, so I thought that was pretty cool. Overall, very satisfied, very happy with this set. If you guys have an uh, extra $50 or so laying around, uh, I I would definitely lean towards uh, picking up this set. If, you were, if you're on the fence about it, uh, I would definitely pick it up. Thank you all for watching this video, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day or night. And guagua, everyone.